Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Life and Drawing Podcast. This is podcast number 29. And this podcast uh, is going to be slightly different. Um, although I don't think there's a set format. Well, I guess there is a format of the podcast where I have a topic and um, I think of a topic and and then we work with that within that topic and so but today is going to be a little bit of uh, I don't know a rant (laughs) so to speak Um, gonna be talking about uh, driving and traffic well, not so much traffic, but just driving and dealing with the annoyances that you experience while you're driving. You know, folks cutting you off, um, uh, people uh, aggressively brake checking you and all of that. So let's just jump right in. Uh, this right here you see on the screen is actual comic script because I know usually... I'm just sketching something randomly, and so, um, <laughs> no pun intended, but it is random shapes. But yeah, so yeah, you have a sneak peek in the most, the latest uh, 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 issue. So, so alright, so let's kick it off driving, and I. I mean, I'm I'm currently a U.S. citizen, and so I'm, I'm living in the the U.S. Uh, but before that, I uh, I was born and raised uh, in the Bahamas, and and um, it was you know driving. I mean, driving there. Uh, it was definitely. Uh, a task <laughs> in the sense of uh, just daily running into the same uh, issues over and over and over again. You know, there are stop signs, but I don't think people see the stop signs or they don't see the red stop signs. And in their eyes, the stop sign says, go straight, straight through. As fast as you can, don't look left or right. Just just shoot out the corner. Um, so there must be some sort of uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mm, some sort of misinterpretation when it comes to the uh, to the stop sign uh, because it's like uh, uh, just just do whatever you want to do, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like like some like something happens, and I'm like, well, I'm not getting those messages. Um, it would be nice to get that message. Hey, just just drive like how you want to drive, and and uh, everyone else would just have to, you know, get on with it. <laughs> so I mean, that's that's how it felt. You know, it just felt like folks just had a. Um, a license to do whatever they wanted to do and and you just had to you know suck it up and deal with it and so so of course you know moving to the US I mean and I've obviously had the opportunities of experiencing traffic in the US before actually moving to the US and um, so I, I knew that there was a a difference in um, uh, traffic and vehicular uh, experiences. You know, the Bahamas, we had a bunch of laws on the books uh, in regards to driving, but didn't mean that they were followed. And so... Um, I remember a time I was driving a school bus, um, 
not for a school. Uh, well, it was a school bus, but it's it, you know it's for a non-profit organization, a uh, Christian non-profit organization, and so we had school buses because we would pick up kids from school, and um, I think this time it was a mm, uh, a missions team we had like short-term missions team but anyway it was raining and uh, pretty hard uh, and you know I'm, I'm just driving down the street and and I don't know it just seemed like folks were just tempt fate you know it didn't matter it didn't matter how big uh, the vehicle that you're driving was they were just still just, you know, I'm just going to shoot out and, and, you know, I mean, that's what I'm going to do. So I mean, these folks really drove with an incredible amount of, uh, I hate when I do this, I drew this on the dialogue and that was a pretty nice circle. <laughs> uh, what to do, what to do. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, they just said incredible, you know, I would just think to myself like, man, you, you, you have an incredible amount of fate because you're just driving however you want. And, uh, um, and that's incredible, you know, because I would, you know, because you would never do it. You would never just come to a corner and, or at least not intentionally, maybe if you were distracted, I could see that. But, you know, no one in their right mind is just going to shoot out a corner and, um, um, you know, just shoot at a corner out of a stop sign without coming and waiting to, you know, to see if, you know, there's traffic coming or anything like that. Um, at least I don't, I don't think most folks would, would, would do something like that. And so, um, but man, these, these people did it all the time. Um, so it was just something that you knew, you know, cause you know that, Hey, I'm approaching this corner. There's a car they may shoot out you know it's never like hey have my right away it doesn't matter da, 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 da. Um, they're gonna follow the rules of the road <laughs> nah it was you know this this person's probably gonna shoot out <laughs> so um and and this person did man um and it's not you know you know, just to make it clear, it's not just like women drivers, you know, that stereotype. I mean, as women, man, it, it it didn't matter. And so, and this person pulls out, and I got to hit the brake. Um, and, you know, it's a school bus, so we we have air brakes. Uh, it's a larger vehicle in any case, so, you know, there's braking distance. And again, it's raining, you know. Um, and, and they just slow down, too, as well. Uh, they, they literally pulled out of a corner to take the very next corner that was maybe like 40 yards away and I was like man I I was like, I don't I actually I think I ended up did clipping their bumper yeah because I slid and I and thankfully no one's on the bus I was actually going to pick up the, the crew um, I don't know why they still went to the beach. Maybe they went to the beach and it, it started to rain after the fact. Um, yeah, so, you know, I, I hit the brake and I even tried to maneuver, uh, in the Bahamas, you know, we, 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 unlike in the U S where you drive on the right side of the road in the Bahamas, we drive on the left, you know, it's English colonized or whatever. And so, you know, driving on the left. So, so I'm, I'm just scooting over to the, to the left and I still managed to like, um, clip this person's, 
um, bumper, the back bumper, and and uh, <laughs> and the funny thing is, you know, I, I ended up, you know, I slowed down, came to a stop, and and this random person was like, "You're not in the wrong. I saw everything. You know, uh, they just pull out and." And I, th- I want to say, I think the person just ended up leaving. They, they, they went, they looked, and they knew what they did. And they were like, hey, sorry, man. I mean, nothing happened to the bus. I mean, it's, you know, it's a big old school bus. <laughs> so, I mean, you know. Um, but I think they realized that, uh, you know, they if they s- stuck around or or wanted to complain, uh, it, you know, it, it wouldn't go well for them. And so they, they just skedaddled. <laughs> I haven't used that word in a while, and and then that was it. But I was just like, man. I mean, if I, you know, say if I had slid onto oncoming traffic, that would, I mean, that would have been a whole entirely different uh, situation altogether. And so, um, but folks, folks don't think. So even even now, uh, you know, being in the U.S., uh, you know, I don't. I don't experience that a whole lot, um, but I I still have uh, some experiences like that where people pull out and then they go really slow, and I'm just like, I don't like where is the urgency? You know, you 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 wanted to pull out and cut in front of me, and now you're going slow. You know, it's like the speed limit on this road is 55. You cut in front of me. I had to slow down. Now you're going 30, you know. <laughs> and, you know, I tell myself I'm not a proponent of uh, 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 road rage. But, heck, man, I can see why some folks just um, rage out. And it's like... Um, not saying that is right, you know, particularly when it gets crazy violent. You know, I think a a good uh, uh, blowing of the horn, uh, I think that's healthy. You know, just let the folks know that, man, you're you're you're, you're an idiot um, for what you did. You know, I think that's fair. Uh, um. You know, but I think anything more than that, you know, it's like, okay, I don't know how, how necessary, how necessary it it would be to just go all nuts and crazy and ride someone's bumper or try to force them off the road or actually run into them. Um, You know, I've seen some crazy videos. I haven't really seen anything in person. I mean, at least not that aggressive i've seen where you know someone was trying to pass and the other person kept speeding up and you know i'm just i have like a front row seat you know and and then the other person just gets super aggressive and just really speeds away or you know they get aggressive in the sense of okay i'm just going to overtake this person to get away or um or to make sure that i pass the person that was being difficult and allowing them to pass um so i've seen stuff like that but never someone like you know running someone over or trying to run them off the road or anything like that um but i could i mean like i said i could see i could see why um some folks will just you know get just super annoyed <laughs> and and uh and lash out um but but yeah so that's so i i mean i have so many pet peeves when it comes to just driving uh but that's that's definitely one of them pulling out in front of you and and just going really slow afterwards and you know it's just like really Come on, man. You know, that's when you, you know, I wish you have a, a backhoe and you can just scoop them up and toss them aside of the road. Oh. <laughs> um, the, 
the other one is when you know when you are on a highway and you're on the right side of the road you're not in the passing lane and you know it's say let's say it's 60 miles an hour the 60 miles an hour speed limit and the person in the front of you they're they're obviously not going 60 miles they're going slower and you go to overtake you go to pass and out of nowhere uh they speed up right and you're like uh, uh okay what 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 was that for you know just make up your mind go to speed limit or uh just allow me to pass without you speeding up you know and so yeah so that's that's one and you know you usually i know for me i'm just like okay i'm gonna pass you it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what you do i'm just gonna speed um but i don't think folks like that realize that okay you're gonna make the person speed much more they can actually get in an accident or they can lose control and run into you who's being an idiot and get you know and then cause both of you to uh, uh, to to be in an accident and and who knows you know the consequence of that life loss or serious injury um so uh but yeah that's another one i mean i remember uh my wife and i were uh, i think we just had our first born and yeah we were going to U uva and and uh and we were just driving and i think this was like the, the speed limit was maybe 65 i believe it was um 60 to 65 and this car uh was in the front of us and whenever whenever i went to overtake because they would just drift below the speed limit they were you know they're drifting in and out and and so whenever we would go to overtake they would speed up and and i was just like what the heck man like like what 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 is this person doing and um and it happened like two to three times in a row and you know i i don't have the greatest patience or temperament and so i was like you know forget this man <laughs> i'm overtaking this person enough of this and um i remember having to yeah i probably yeah i probably won't disclose <laughs> i just remember having to go really fast <laughs> to, to, to eventually pass them and and it was like this older <laughs> this old this old lady <laughs> um and i was just cracking up because i was like i want to see who this person is you know and um, um and my wife was like yeah so you know yeah my wife looked because you know at the speed i was going i i didn't want to take my eye off the road and she's like it's just an old lady and i think when i finally passed i looked in the rear mirror and i said like, well yeah it's an old lady so like so i don't know i don't know if she was like getting nervous um because um i mean i don't know why like you if you go to speed limit and someone's overtaking you just allow them to overtake you you know or if you drift i think we've all done that where if particularly we don't have cruise control on and you know so, let's say you're listening to music or a podcast or whatever and you know you just you know your your acceleration you just drift and and before you know it you're, you're going below the speed limit and it may not be by much but when you're on a highway uh it doesn't take much and and before you know it you're like oh wow i'm not you know so someone overtakes you just let them overtake you <laughs> you know it's not the end of the world um and uh oh, i did it again <laughs> i'm not paying attention um yeah it's not the end of the world uh, and you just let them overtake you and then you can always increase your speed thereafter you know but but you know just don't be annoying and 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 speed up you know 
<laughs> so, uh, so that's, so that's, that's, that's one. That's a big one. Um, and feel free to leave in the comments your, your, your own situations too with, um, someone, you know, just, uh, you know, your vehicular experiences or your pet peeves as well. Um, what's another one? So I said folks cutting you off and then going really slow. Um, when you're overtaking and someone then speeds up. Uh, what else? It's so funny that I'm trying to think and I, and I usually talk to myself when I'm in the car. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I get so hot and I start talking to myself and I'm like, ah, I'm trying, I'm trying to be patient. <laughs> I'm trying not to, but I'm just trying to think. Um, I'm trying to think. Oh, this is one. <laughs> uh, so. It, it, you know, and I guess depending where you live, but, um, but anyway, when you, when you're merging and you're, you know, you're merging onto, uh, the, the main highway, you know, you're coming off a ramp, um, or from a different road system onto the highway. Um, and you're about to merge and, the passing lane is open, but the vehicle that's in the right lane, the right side lane, they they do not move over into the passing lane to allow you to merge. And you're like, there's nobody in that lane. Like you, you can actually go into the lane, it's open, which will then allow me to merge onto the highway. Um, uh, yeah, that. I'm just like, come on, man, just, you know, just be courteous. There's no one in the lane. Um, it won't slow you down at all. It doesn't affect you other than you um, going into another lane and then you can come right back into the first lane. I mean, into the, the lane on the right lane. Um, but I mean, it happens all the time and I'm just like, OK, all right, good, whatever. Um, I'll just pass you on the way uh you know because it's so annoying it's just like you know it's just like one of those courtesy uh you know just you know just be a little self-aware things uh but you know some folks just aren't with it like that so yeah so that's that's an annoyance uh with me uh and then keeping with the off-ramp when someone speeds behind you. So it's, you know, it's 65 and uh, you're probably doing 70. And I mean, I know in my case, you know, it was like that. And this person's like riding my bumper and I'm like, then just, just, just pass me. You know, I'm not going to speed up any more than this. I'm going five over. Um, if you need to get somewhere faster than this, just the passing lane is open. Just go around. Why ride my bumper, you know, um, and, and, I, and I don't do the brake check thing because uh, that can cause an accident. Uh, uh, I may just decelerate, decelerate, is it decelerate? Yeah, decelerate, um, you know, by just feathering my, the, uh, the accelerator, but I'm not going to like, you know, brake check and stuff like that. I, um, um. But in all honesty, those are situations where I believe you you have to you have your full right to um break jack because that person is just being a an A one clown. Um or an A one uh uh jackass. So uh and so but but then they do that and it's literally just to go to an off ramp. I'm like, you idiot. You were just riding my bumper just to go, just to turn off onto this on ramp. And, you know, and I mean, that, and that happens fairly regularly. Um, 
I must say, uh, to the point where I, when I recognize it, I just, I do slow down. Because uh, I think for some folks, it, it may be a game where they're like, hey, and that's how I think too. And sometimes, you know, <laughs> I have these mental games, or these mental thoughts. And I'm like, they're probably not even, I'm, I'm giving them way too much credit, <laughs> you know. Uh, but sometimes it just seems that way, like they're just playing a game. I'm just going to make this person speed up and I just need to, uh, and I'm just going to turn off, you know. And so, uh, I, I, you know, I, I kind of think like that, like person is just being, um, uh, you know, just being, you know, facetious and, uh, and I don't, and I don't really have time for that. So, but yeah, what are some of your, uh, your, uh, you know, pet peeves or, or experiences while you're driving? Um, and if you, and if, you know, and if some of you are not, you know, there as far as like driving, but what are some of your, uh, experiences as being a passenger you know i mean it's different when you're behind a wheel you know you you have a different experience than just being in a passenger seat um but you know you, you're still privy to the stupidness that you come across as a passenger you know um uh but yeah so uh feel free to uh as i am hitting that 27 minute mark um, and I will, you know, I'll finish this, I'll finish this, uh, this piece, um, off camera, but, uh, yeah, so share what some of your frustrating pet peeves are, uh, in the comic section, and, uh, I think there's, you know, more things that I can talk about and, and perhaps it'll it'll be a part two <laughs> uh uh to to uh this podcast and so um uh so yeah so thanks thanks for listening um sorry i, I like a little um uh, brain uh, brain fart and it's well no brain freeze or whatever but but anyway uh thanks for listening guys uh to this uh s sort of mini rant um i don't know i don't even know i can say rant because you know i had like my same monotone voice you know it wasn't like and and even if i wanted to i couldn't do that it's like 1 a.m and uh i wouldn't want to wake up my um, any of my, my two young boys, um, but, but yeah, uh, thanks for tuning into the video, let's drive safely, even if we are aggravated, you know, uh, you know, purpose to keep our cool, um, even when we're, um, uh, obviously wrong, uh, it's better to arrive alive and safe than not so but thanks for watching uh be sure to subscribe like and subscribe to uh my youtube page uh, you know share the link uh, let's try to get up to uh, 10 subscribers um so be sure to hit that like button uh, uh be sure to blow the horn at that like button <laughs> um, also you can check out my facebook page if you're still on facebook it's facebook.com um, forward slash michelo comics um, uh, you can go to my instagram uh, which is uh, michelo lolly and to uh, keep the the pencils sharpened and the ink flowing uh, you can go to my Patreon um, page, which is patreon.com forward slash Michelolully. 
and even at just a buck uh, that would be greatly appreciated and so thanks again for tuning in um, you've seen a little behind the scenes of random shapes um, and you can get more of these episodes uh, on my Facebook or Patreon uh, or on my website as well which is you know michelolali.com and uh, so be safe up there as you're driving um, you know don't be the cause of road rage and um, and drive defensively so grace and peace to you all have a great night evening afternoon day <laughs>